Please stand to begin our celebration today. And the opening hymn can be found in the Red Gather hymnal, number 826. It's Hallelujah, Sing to Jesus. 826. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus the Christ, the love of God, communion of their spirit be always with you. And with your spirit. Welcome as we celebrate the ascension of our Lord today. Welcome those who are watching near and far as well. In order to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacrament, sacraments worthily, let us take a moment to call to mind our sin asking for forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are the eternal Son of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your presence fills the universe. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you guide us home with you into bright glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us of our sin, and bring us all to life everlasting. Amen. With all the angels above, let us proclaim. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King. to God in the highest and on earth peace on earth peace to people of good will Lord Jesus Christ only begotten Son Lord God Lamb of God Son of the Father you take the sins of the world have mercy on us you take away the sins of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand the right hand of the father have mercy on us glory to God glory to God Glory to God in the highest and on earth. 
earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, glory to God, glory to God. To God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Gladden us with holy joys, Almighty God and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving. For the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation. And where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus the Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoyed them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but a few day, in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return at the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All you peoples, clap your hands, shout to God with cries of glad. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God mounts His throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts His throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise, sing praise to our King, sing praise. 
praise. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy. A blare of trumpets for the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation, resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his calling. What are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones? And what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe? In accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. With you. With your spirit. A reading from the conclusion of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshiped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, all power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We pray that the Lord add a 
blessing to the word we have heard proclaimed. Amen. <clears throat> we human beings are very interesting creatures. We take great comfort in routine because that way we don't have to think about things too often. And sometimes, because we're creatures of habit, we don't respond very generously to change all the time. <laughs> I know even uh, during our liturgical season, uh, it never fails to amaze me that uh, come Holy Week, you know, uh, most of the priests are all discombobulated because Holy Thursday, the Mass doesn't end, you know, there's a different ending to Mass. Good Friday is a whole animal unto its own, you know, with a liturgy of the word, veneration of the cross, and a communion service, not a mass. And then Holy Saturday just goes on and on and on with so many different readings, etc. You know, it's not normal, it's, it's a change. And sometimes it's hard to, to welcome it. Yet on the other hand, we human beings welcome change too. Especially if you work a Monday through Friday job, you can't wait until Saturday and Sunday come, you know? Why? Because you're off your schedule, you know? And if you're employed and working, you can't wait for that summer vacation when you can abandon your schedule full time and have, do something different. So we both embrace change, but we're threatened by change too at the same time. And it was no different for the disciples of Jesus, no different for the apostles as well. When they walked with Jesus in his ministry, they wanted that to last forever. You recall the story of the transfiguration on Mount Tabor, how good it is for us to be here. Let's make three tents, we'll never go down. You know? I mean, we want to stay there forever, you know? And yet they had to go down and continue the hard work of preaching and teaching with Jesus. And, but they wanted Jesus to be there all the time with them. Thus, when Jesus would give a prediction about the passion, Peter would take him aside and say, God forbid something like that happened to you. You know, get behind me, Satan. You are judging by human emotion, but not by God's standards. Indeed, the physical presence of Jesus would end. It would, it would end with the crucifixion, death, and burial. But then it, they would encounter the risen Lord. And again, a new experience fills them with joy. According to the scripture, the risen Lord had many times of appearing in many different ways to the apostles, witnesses before all of us of the death and resurrection of our Lord. But that too, that experience had to change. It had to come to an end. But it doesn't come to a sorrowful end because Jesus makes a few promises. Number one, he promises them the Holy Spirit, the advocate, who would teach them everything they need to know and carry them on. So they leave ascension the ascension experience with great hope and expectation in their heart, though they don't know what that means yet. The other promise of Jesus would be that I am with you always until the end of the age. And even today in the great commission from the Gospel of Matthew, go and preach and teach in all nations, baptizing in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. They didn't know how to do that. But the Spirit would guide them and be with them always to instruct them. Today we celebrate this great mystery of faith. And like the early uh, apostles and disciples, we wait with joyful hope for the second coming of our Lord in glory. When he will come to judge the living and the dead. We come with great hope that Jesus will never leave us orphaned, never leave us alone. That gift of the Holy Spirit will always teach us and always help us encounter him in many, many different ways.
Today, as we celebrate, we pray for a renewal of that gift of the Holy Spirit within us. We pray for a renewal of that great hope that God never will abandon us. With certitude, we believe that. And we ask the Lord to truly walk among us and help us behold his glory until we see him face to face and enjoy a reunion with all those who believe and and trust in our Lord and our Savior. Amen. We now stand and take time to profess our faith, and we do so with the Apostles' Creed as we proclaim, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Confident that God guides and directs all the changes within our lives, we bring our needs before him today. Our response will be, risen Lord, hear our prayer. Risen Risen Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that we continue to carry on the commission Christ gave to his first disciples, preaching, teaching, and baptizing throughout all nations, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer that all nations lay down their arms and resolve never again to use instruments of death to resolve disagreements and discord, especially in Russia, Ukraine, and Sudan. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer from systemic persecution, oppression, and discrimination, that justice and righteousness may overcome sin and evil. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer for all of us, that we may be blessed with wisdom and hope, so that we may be effective witnesses in our communities of the joy and consolation of our faith. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us here today, that we may more closely live out the message that Jesus preached and not stand around looking at the sky and waiting. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, and for the intentions of this Mass, for Florence and Aubrey Fallon, that they shout to God with cries of gladness, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. In a silent moment, for the intentions and thanksgiving prayers and our basket of intercessory prayer, and for our own needs and intentions that we prayerfully bring to God. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Holy and good God, look upon your church, hear and answer our many prayers. For we make them all in the powerful name of Jesus, your only Son and our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. There are baskets at each door, or or two of the doors, sorry about that, two of the doors, to receive your Ascension Day offering today. Thank you. The song for presentation of gifts can be found in the Red Gather hymnal again. Number 616, I has not seen. Please join in if you like. 616.
just the wisdom of God. When pain and sorrow weigh us down, be near to us, O Lord. Forgive the weakness of our faith and bear us up within your peaceful world. I has not seen not heard what God has ready for those who love Him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. Our lives are but a single breath. We flower and we fade, yet our days are in your hands, so we return in love what love has made. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, what God has ready for those. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. Let's stand and pray, friends, asking that these gifts of bread and wine, united to all of our own sacrificial gifts and offerings, that they will become an acceptable sacrifice to God our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and flesh, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, the head and founder, has gone. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land and every people exult in your praise. Even the heavenly powers and the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of glory as together we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness, make holy, therefore, our gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus the Christ. For at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, and he said, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink of it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come For as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection of Jesus, we offer you, Lord, living God, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, with all the clergy, the women, and men of consecrated life, missionaries who share the faith around the world and all your holy people. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. As one family of faith, we pray as Jesus taught us, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ, for the kingdom. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sin, but on the faith of your church, graciously granting her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace to you. Peace be with you. Peace at home. Thank you. Peace.
sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. In the body and blood of our Lord keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. I invite those on media today to pray the prayer of spiritual communion, uniting yourself to us in worship today, and most especially to our Lord, waiting to come and visit you.
Almighty, ever-living God, who, allo who allowed those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you. Grant this our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for coming and celebrating with us here at Nativity. Uh, there's one more public mass at 7 p.m. tonight. Uh, if uh, anyone is inquiring of you, uh, we have one more mass 7 p.m. this evening. Thank you very much for all those who participated in worship today, those watching as well, our uh, uh, ministers of word and sacrament, music ministry, thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God continually bless us with that gift of hope, waiting for the Holy Spirit to turn our lives around in faith. May God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace and glorify the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day, everyone. And the closing hymn can be found in the red hymnal again, number 492. To Jesus Christ, our sovereign King. It's 492.
Thank you.